Hi, today I'm going to show you how we can create anti-theft app using MIT App Manager. So, first I will show you the demo, how we can use that app, and then we will create this app step by step using MIT App Manager. So here we go. This anti-theft app saved my phone. So let me just show you how we can create this. It's a very basic app. So just click on start new project and my project name is anti -thapt. So that's my first screen. So I'm going to design that simple app here. So what I will do, I will use here two buttons, one and two. And I'm going to use here one text box. So text box is from here. And one more button to submit that text. And simply make all this thing in a center like this. You need some label to make some space between all these uh, buttons like this. So you can just drag and drop that uh, like this. Cool. Now we need one. Uh, we need one sensor here. So in the left side you will find the sensor. This one is sensors, and you can see here the orientation sensor. Just drag and drop this here like this. Now click on that uh, button and just change that to stop alarm something. And then in that one first button, you can just say on. And in the second one, you can just say off. Like this. And make the, all these button is at, like, at least like 70%. Like this. And you can change your background color also. Something green a little bit. To make it, yeah, it's, it's going to be a green one. And text will be a white. Like this and make this one also something the width is around 70 and then same thing we have to just change the background color so we'll make it red and make this text white like this cool now that's the text box and in the hint text box i'll just say enter password or just say password like this and the stop alarm button will be something pink oh sorry text should be a white and the color will be a well is fine like this now we need to change that background color of that so i will just choose any background color something uh, you can choose the background image also so i'm going to use here one background color and let's just make it a little bit darker something like this so whenever we click on the on button so whenever someone try to pick up your phone so alarm will ring like uh, uh, you can set any alarm okay so what i will do, i will just download one alarm sound here so i have that sound file so I'm going to use that file in the app here. So in the left side, you'll find the media option and you need to drag and drop your from player like this and click on source, click on upload file and just drag and drop that file from here and like this and okay. Now that uploaded fine and now go to the block section. So what will happen whenever we uh, open our app or whenever the screen will a slice or you can see whenever we click on the button one so which button one is this one whenever we start our alarm or whenever we start protecting our phone so we need to click on button one so whenever we click on button one on that so we need to we need to use your orientation sensor so what will happen we will get the role value okay so whenever someone try to pick up your phone so role value change will be and it will be increased from 10 to 12 or 20 or 50 so what we will do whenever the role value is greater than 10 then we will uh, we will raise the alarm okay so when orientation change okay so what i will do here i will create one variable here and it just say the role okay and the value is like maths and is zero and is starting and whenever we change the orientation so we will get that role value like this we will set that value in any label okay so i'm gonna set that value in one label so go to the design or you can set this value in label one so label one dot text is like this and this one is like this okay and we will get that value here set that value like this cool now we need to use your one condition is go to the control just drag and drop that if and the if the click the maths and you will see here that uh, if the value is greater than okay so is a less than this should be a greater than if the global value okay it means the rule value is greater than the 10 okay the rule value is greater than 10 then we will ring the alarm so it's 10 and the player you can see here click on the, the player 
and you will see the player will start like this okay now on the button one click we need to start the orientation sensor okay so orientation sensor and you will see the enabled this should be true okay like this call like this and just copy paste this and in the on button to click we need to make this off orientation okay now go to the design section click on orientation sensor and you see the enable should be unchecked like this go to the block section like this now on button 3 click so why this button is 3 because whenever we start the alarm we have to stop that alarm if we are the authorized person so we know the password so what we will do i will set the static password here you can change that uh, change that password also so on button 3 click so we need to submit the code so if we will use it again condition if the text box so see the text box one dot text this one so we need to use here maths again and the value and it just say if the text box one dot text is equal or you can use the logic to compare the string okay so just use that green one remove that from here is equal to one two three okay so we just say here the text value and just put it here and just say one two three four if equal to four then we will stop that alarm see the player and then stop it like this if the password is wrong then we will not stop our alarm cool and you can see that's our app here and that's the mobile phone and let me just use your sensor this option and let's whenever someone pick up our phone okay so like this and see the virtual sensor and let's move the roll value it means someone try to pick our phone so whenever the phone is moving somewhere like this okay the alarm is not ringing the why the why is because we have to enable the uh, orientation sensor so first we will just move this in the base okay in the in the center like this and then just enable this first and now let's move alarm is ringing now we need to stop this to stop this we need to put password now how we can stop it the problem is that you know whenever we stop that alarm this value automatically will detect again okay so how we can avoid this so it's simple you need to disable the orientation sensor this one again okay so like this just call it here and make sure this should be false to change the value we have changed that value here from here and when i will change the value see let's put the password alarm is off okay so that's the amazing app okay if you need any help on that so just comment on the video you can hide that uh, text box value also from that we have display here in the one you can hide that uh, that level okay thank you so much for watching this video please 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 subscribe my channel like this video and share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye